Hi, I'm Gabby. It's V. And we just got back from the Gazette concert here in Dallas, Texas. Yeah! yeah. So we're here in Dallas right now in our hotel. It is 2.30 a.m. <laughs> and we barely got back into our apartment from after the concert and um, hanging out with friends and then like finally resting right now. So I would like to talk about what happened during your day today, yeah, basically. my day. Okay, so I, I actually went to the um, LA concert, um, but B wasn't there. My sister, this is my sister by the way. Um, she was out of the country. <laughs> so I was there um, at the LA concert by myself with, not by myself, but like with friends. And then this time here in Dallas, she met up with me from the Philippines. She just got here like a few hours ago. So I ended up having to line up for both of us in the Bomb Factory. The Bomb Factory is the venue of where the Gazette had a concert. So like um, we got out of 5 a.m. I got up and we were supposed to wake up earlier, but um, I woke up at 5 a.m. and like went straight to the venue. Imagine that, the, the, there was no light yet today. There was no light when we went to the concert venue and it was pouring rain. It was, the rain was so heavy and hard that I was wearing two jackets. One, I was wearing a shirt, a jacket, and the second jacket. And then um, I had an umbrella. But the, um, I went with my friend Jen and um, Christina. Um, you've probably seen them in my... Um, uh, Gazette videos in Japan or LA from a few years ago and we went there together and they didn't have an umbrella so we ended up huddling together under one umbrella at the venue because there was no there was nothing outside to like shelter us from the rain when we got there there was already other people we were about like the ninth people in line <laughs> um, not like that. we were like yeah there was already two groups of people and then one solo person and then it was us and they were doing the same thing they were all huddling together and uh, they even went earlier than us so like the earliest who probably went was 3 a.m. and that's crazy the people who went at 3 a.m. Um, were I, I believe the girls from Taiwan and I have to give props to them because they were both in LA and Dallas and 3 a.m. They went to the concert both at 3 a.m. Imagine that. Because like after waiting a whole day, technically, that's like for them that is 15 hours in line. Our, like us, 15 hours? That's around 16 hours in line. We waited today for 14 hours in line. <laughs> Anyways, because we came two hours later. How do they have the energy to wake up that early? and wait in line. It was raining so hard in the beginning and it cleared out and then I went to Walmart because I wanted a chair because in LA we were just standing the entire time that my feet really got sore. I mean it's still sore from LA. Was Walmart close by? No, I had to Uber there. Oh. I had to Uber there. <laughs> it's like 10 minutes away probably. Anyways, so we went to Walmart and then got step stools. <laughs> Like a, a st the step stool that looks good. I, I have it here. So like, this is my step stool that I bought from Walmart. It was nine dollars. So after it stopped raining, we went to go buy a step I'll stool. I'll take it. <laughs> and um, I'll take it home. to sit down in because we didn't want to be too tired. The weather cleared out. It stopped raining. The the ground got dry. People could start sitting down on the floor, and then. <laughs> What happened was that around 11 a.m. it got so hot, super hot. It was like we experienced the rain, the cold, and the heat, you know? Mm. And then she was still here in the room sleeping because of her jet lag. I mean, she was tired, so I mean, I was 24 really hours of travel. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah. travel. International travel. Okay, so we have made this system, the girls in front of us. I forgot their names. But there was this, uh, the girls who got here, bef who got in line before us. Um, they decided to like number ourselves with like a pen, 
or was it the Taiwanese girls? Because um, in the past concerts they've been to, people were trying to like, or the one in LA anyways, people were really trying to um, cut the line, like cut the very, very front row. They were trying to cut the people who has been waiting there for at, since 3 a.m., you know? And after waiting that long, in line for the how like how many hours we are bound to like you know talk to a lot of people in line get close to each other and then like recognize who are the people <coughs> who was originally in line so like because of that incident like this time um, I mean we were able to settle it in LA I'll talk about LA in another video but <laughs> will I be able to let's see anyways so um, they were able to handle it in LA because everybody knew each other by then, you know, like it spent a lot of time um, standing next to each other, recognizing people's faces, you know. And then so like when issues arose with like people cutting the line, um, the security was able to help us in LA. So here in freaking Dallas, nobody was like helping us. We were just fending for ourselves again for some reason. The security or the staff weren't as active this year compared to 2016. I heard from a girl who was supposed to be a journalist for the NYC show that <clears throat> the promoters for this um, or like the management team for this tour is different or the promoters are different. So I mean I'm still sure it's like Sony Music but like it's probably another branch of something. I don't know. Anyway, so like it was totally different because like three years ago the staff were more active going around talking to fans and stuff like that, you know, helping people out and when they have questions. This time they didn't bother you until like it was time to get in. <laughs> For LA, we didn't see any of the staff members until we actually went inside around 7 o'clock. Anyways, so here in Dallas, we started numbering each other. I was number 10. Um, That's 17. Uh, we, she wasn't there at the moment, so like, we just labeled the people after us, like 12, 13, 14, and then we just like, okay, we're gonna start like 17 with her, and then everybody else who's like, um, coming in later is gonna go like, from there on. So like, oh my god, like around 12, like 1, 1 p.m., there was, the line was already good long. Today's a sat, t today was a Saturday, like the concert, like a while ago, was a Saturday. And uh, so, unlike the one in LA, which was a Tuesday, people were not lining up so early. But today, people were actually like, as time went on, the line was getting longer and longer. So by 11 o'clock, or no, by 1 o'clock, there was already like, um, like more than 100 people in line, right? So like, we got really suspicious when these um, furry looking people came. Um, yeah. Anyways, like, in very, I mean, I have nothing against furries, but like, they were really inappropriately dressed for this Japanese rock concert, for like, these Japanese men that are very conservative, I guess. But basically, like, as in their words, they dress like strippers, like, almost naked, and then like, with pasties. And like, uh, no, they weren't wearing pasties, but they were, they were wearing pasties under their very oh, small. Really? Yeah. Well, I didn't. By that. the end of the concert, their 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 nipples were already out. <laughs> Sorry, the pasties. Their nipples were covered by pasties. Oh, God. Anyways, so Anyways. it was suspicious because like, what are these people doing, walking up and up and up to where, like. Because per section, like there was a 3 a.m. section, there was a 5 a.m. And then like there's a 6 a.m., 7 a.m. They were already at like, they kept on walking up and up but towards the front of the line. Towards like the 9 a.m., right? And then I was like, it's obviously 1 p.m. We've never seen these people. And then the people, like the first 50 people at least, were numbered. They, we all had like a number. I had a number here. It's, it's kind of gone now, but it says 10. So they were in the 20s, like, what were they doing in the 20s? And we've never, nobody knows them, they didn't have anybody, like, anyways, basically they were cutting. And then, for some reason, they always acted like a victim, like, well, is this official, is this numbering system official? 
I mean, seriously, even if it's not official, you didn't get there first. So this is lesson to the fans. Can you respect people's time if you really want to get a good spot? And if you want to be in front, just come early. As early as you want. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to cut people if you're early, right? Anyways, I'm bitter about it because I only had two hours of sleep. And I, w I had to sleep in line. <laughs> I didn't even sleep today. I just like... I like I just fell asleep like this like this you know while waiting and uh, wait the battery is dying sorry my um, battery my camera battery died so I had to replace it okay so I will just say that we got um, to the line early and uh, so like we were significantly supposed to be right in front of a lot of people. I'm just gonna say that if you're gonna cut, if you wanna be like, if you wanna be, sorry, if you wanna like be in the front by the railing like how I was, go early and try not to cut because the people who actually go early are gonna get so pissed off that you're trying to cut into their like after all their hard work you know a lot of people were mad today because there was several people trying to be cutting the guy after like especially these two girls these two girls who dressed up in furries you know who you are um what's it called they they we had a number system the girls from like the the ones in front of us gave us a numbering system and apparently i was number 10 and they were around like around one o'clock. There was at least a hundred people coming in, right? There was already at least a hundred people in line waiting, and they were like they were just walking towards the front, and then they were sitting down at the twenties area, and then so the people in the twenties were talking to them, saying that there was a number system, so you do not you do not like disrespect people's time and say well is this numbering a f system official even if it's not they got there earlier than you okay so if people are trying to tell you to go back in, at the end of the line just do it because oh my god these girls gave us such a hard time even like in the concert venue anyways they just bottom line they felt entitled that even inside the venue they wanted they were trying to tell the people at the very front uh, my friends at the very front row like, oh, I'm short, can I like stay at the very front? And of course, we were like, hell no, we worked hard for these spots. <sighs> Anyways, respect people's times, please. Anyways, okay, so continuing my story about, well, um, what's it called? This Dallas, Texas. It happened in the bomb factory. The bomb factory is actually really nice. I remember like in the 2016 World Tour, that had like non-stop praises for the bomb factory right they always said like oh it was like super fun there's like in the dressing rooms there's games and there's super cool like food and um the refrigerator i don't know like there's a lot of things that they can do while waiting for the, the um what's it called the concert to start so i thought that was it it's because but other than that like the stage was so nice the venue itself was so nice i thought it was just gonna be some um, you know, like a dingy club-like, I mean like music club-like place, but it was like, it was wide, it was pretty big and the sound system was really good, the sound quality was awesome and which they were right, it was pretty good, yeah. I would really like to go to another concert there, but my only problem was they didn't have a barricade between the VIP and the, and what was it called, the general admission Mm, and it was mostly difficult because with no barricade there was a lot of pushing going on for like the people in general admission trying to stay in front. The only problem with that was, um, was called? there was a pregnant lady behind me <laughs> and we were telling each other please don't push, please don't push because you know in the LA concert there was no pushing at all. It was so <clears throat> peaceful. Everybody knew each I mean like everybody expected uh, respected each other's space, we can jump, we can headbang in synchronized fashion, you know, and then in, like really look like we're enjoying. But here in, in Dallas, Texas, 
um, we got to the point where we were gonna get crushed so hard. I mean, like, I mean, like, you know, you have these things for like uh, deer and gray and everything, but obviously, the the whole the system of Gazette is totally different. You know, they have a certain ways that they want a concert to be. They really like organized and respectful people. <laughs> So it was really uncomfortable when um, the lady who was behind me was the pregnant lady and then she was being squished right onto me so I felt bad for her. Uh, I think she, she disappeared. Yeah. It was another girl. Okay. But then they started pushing a, yeah, a yeah, tall yeah, yeah, yeah. A tall lady. She was, oh my God. she was like pushing the tiny girl beside me and then she, she turned to me and said, it's not me. I was like, I know it's not you. Yeah, yeah. But, and then she said, can you stop? Usually the people... Because like, they're so big and they're, like, they're pushing and I have to, I, I have to like, I'm put using my own body so I don't push on to other people. Yeah. Usually the people at the barricade usually stay in one spot. But for some reason we're being moved yeah, side to like, side. Like, we're already trying to hold on to the no, railing. We're like... Really. <laughs> But it's okay because I still got my spot in front of Rookie. Second concert in a row that I was at the very front, right in front of Rookie. Anyways, ah, oh, so awesome. It was so awesome. Like the set list this time was different from LA. They played Hyena. Oh my God, they played Hyena. They played Blemish from Dogma album, and then. Played hyena, oh my god. Anyways, uh, what else did they play? Other than like ninth songs, they played Vortex. They played anything else? Oh my god, they played Gabriel and the Gal Gallows. Oh my god, I was so excited that they were playing Gabriel and the Gallows because that's my name. Yeah. Like, it's Gabriella, but it's close enough. <laughs> Hearing Rookie say um, Gabriel is like the closest thing I can hear him my name you know <laughs> anyways so that was like super like the concert other than the pushing and everything was really awesome um, it was it seemed longer than the LA concert because in the LA concert it was pretty awkward I mean the only pro I mean the, there's pros in the LA concert is because we didn't have like, pushing there was no violence people respected each other's spaces but um, the cons were like um, it looks like the Gazette hasn't settled yet they haven't gone they didn't do a lot of MC, so they didn't talk a lot at all. They just did song after song after song, and then encore, and then song and song, and then finish, you know? So a lot of people were like, what? It's done? It felt like we were only there for an hour, or like a half an hour, you know? Like It felt like they only did like five songs, and then stopped. <laughs> but here, like, in the Dallas concert, even like after the concert, Kai had his like moment to do the kakate koi thing. Like he was talking to the crowd like, like yeah, scream, shout. What was he saying? Kai, uh, are you ready? Are you ready or yeah. something? Like are you ready? Let's rock. And then Ruki comes out and does it. So like he did a lot more. Like, they did a lot more speaking in this concert. But what's funny <laughs> was that. They kept on mistaking Dallas for LA. And I was like, hello LA. And we're like, what? We're in Dallas. <laughs> and then they corrected themselves like at least three times because they made the mistake three times. They probably thought we were Dallas because like the people. LA. I mean, the, the, they probably thought that we were from LA because the people in the Dallas concert, the very front row, were pretty much the same people who were in the LA concert. That was funny. Because they work really hard. We work really hard, okay? They deserve it. Like, if you want to get the front row, then I suggest, you know, copying the Taiwanese girls who stayed out there, who camped out there. <laughs> I, I personally can't camp out there, but it, it helps to have friends, right? Anyways. Um, uh, what happened was that uh, Aoi looked more comfortable today than he did in LA. However, he didn't leave his spot mm -hmm. on the stage. In LA, he didn't look as comfortable, but he would leave his spot and then go around. Mm -hmm. the, the stage was huge. This time, though, I couldn't see Kai that well. Yeah, because it's a huge stage. and then, um, But I, I got pushed 
into the view of Reita because he was blocked at first by the speaker under Ruki's podium thingy in the front. But like after that, like I don't know. I just like looking at all the I look looking at all the members play their instruments because it's pretty rare to see in real life, right? For an international fan who can't go to all the concerts abroad or in um, what's it called in Japan. So like whenever I get the chance, I go look at Aoi, I go look at Uruha, I go look at Kai, I do like that, and then I look at Reita that way. But mostly I find myself looking at Ruki. Ruki doesn't really interact with fans that much. The one who like who got people's attention really interacting with the crowd was Uruha. Dang. When he went to the center and I was like, and he's like, he was like, he, he reciprocated. You know how he was like treating you or like, like he was like, he was like flirting, playing with you. He was like, yeah. <laughs> whenever, whenever somebody does something, I, I tend to copy. So he's like, yeah, mm, yeah, like that to rest. So it's like, oh yeah, I do the same thing to him. And then what's funny is because the next most active one was Reita. Mm -hmm. He would do this whole weird, he's wearing a mask, right? You can only see one eye. Everybody's hair is blonde except Aoi, so you know who Aoi is. <laughs> is in the crowd, I mean in the band, yeah. um, what's it called? Um, Rita had his blonde hair, his black mask, and then his like painting, painted neck, right? And then like, he would always be like, he would always open his mouth and then stick his tongue out and then like really do like, his contact lens is creepy too, it makes his pupils even smaller. So, or like eye, the black thing in your eyes. Yeah, those things they they make it like smaller so he would be like all the time and so whenever he would do that i would also <laughs> i would also open my eyes really wide and stick my tongue out am i the only one who did that what? did you do that too like whenever i did that no it's just me never mind i don't know about other people but um the barricade here in dallas was too high so it's kind of hard to do the whole head banging properly. And they didn't um, barricade VIPs. Yeah, they didn't barricade VIP from GA. But I guess, I mean, it was still, I still feel like the concert was totally worth it, you know. And um, another thing to note was Rookie grabbed himself today and filled him the beauty. Yes. <laughs> And he danced way more today than in the LA. Yeah, they're like I feel, I feel like they're they're just trying to get used to um, touring abroad right now. So they're now they're comfortable in Dallas. They're doing more stuff, you know. And um, it was something that catch, caught my attention all the time is there's there's always staff at the side, and they're not just at the side, but like you can really see like where they're looking. If they're looking at you, if they're looking at the crowd, you know, if they're looking at each each of the guitarists and the bassist, um, Aoi, Uruha, and Ruki, not Ruki, and <coughs> Rita, Aoi, Uruha, and Rita had like a techie at the side, and then the techie would be the one like going in and then replacing it, replacing the instruments for them whenever like new change of song. Anyways, the techies would always be there, so I feel weird. Like I go look at Uruha, and right next to Uruha is a techie somewhere at the side. Some? The techies are actually good looking. The techies are really handsome. Mm. Mm. Are they like future band members? Who knows? Anyways, yeah, they're pretty good looking, especially the guy with the, the blonde streak or the one with the ponytail. <laughs> I hope you never see this video. <laughs> Anyways. And then like, um, how was the encore? I think the only ones who changed was Kai and Urua. Oh my god. Urua has Ruki. a V-cut shirt, the V-cut um, tour shirt and has a freaking choker. I'm like, oh god. I forgot to tell him you look so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even take note. I was like, oh dang, dang. Uru, um, Kai is so cute. Oh my god. I forgot to tell him he's so handsome. Ruki and um, I always say that they're the same um, band outfits. Ooh. But like. I like that. Aoi, Actually, I like Rita's outfit. So military like. Aoi lost so much weight. 
Remember, like he was telling people that he he's been exercising more. Why? And like I don't know if he's dieting, but he's been yeah. exercising yeah, a lot more. And then he said, "Oh, I finally lost thirty pounds. Oh Why do you want to lose weight, Aoi? I mean, men are you can be, be healthy, like but can you bulk up, please? I feel bad for myself that oh. <laughs> they're getting skinnier. You I mean, should be inspired by that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I feel like a man in his thirties, like Aoi, needs to bulk up." not lose the weight <laughs> anyways but it's okay we still love him anyways um he saw so super handsome like don't get me wrong he's like so charisma he was like being a superstar on on his lonesome in his corner of the stage so not even oh kai i didn't really get to see kai that well because it was blocked but as usual he wasn't really paying attention to the crowd or anything he would just kind of be like into his drumming and rookie and then drumming and rookie. Then that was like in Los Angeles, that's what I observed. And I had a really good view of him. So I kind of, like the times that I was able to see him here in Dallas, it was kind of the same. Okay, so Uruha was like hella jumpy and very charismatic. Ruki, he was more, he danced more. And um, he looks to the back, he doesn't really look to the front because this is my second time, like I said, being right in the front, right in front of his spot. He rarely would like look down. So like, I guess mm. that's why people want to go to more on Aoi's side and Reita's side and Uruha's side, yeah. I always ended up being in the middle because everybody else wanted to be in their side. Oh. <laughs> well, I enjoyed it when Uruha went to the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, Reita like, too, Reita. I was like, <laughs> Reita too, like, I, I forgot what song it was, but he like, he was like, he banged his, he stepped oh, on okay. the podium. Assert your dog. And I'm like, yeah, yes. yeah, bang. And then like, sh -sh -sh, that's when you like do the head bang. It was so funny. It was like so dominant in such a cute way, oh. sexy way. I told he has nice hair. <laughs> but I wish it was as big as it was three years ago. Yeah, his hair right but now. But it still looks nice. The people are saying it's like it's a mom cut, but it was shaved in one side. And it's mm. super like, super straight and super blonde. And the thing is, we are so used to him be having poofy hair. That's why it's like it was like a shock to see him like having super flat hair. But is he that still what looks you so good about Uruha. Yeah. Oh, I was like, it still you moves, like it? so I still like it. <laughs> yeah, it's still, it's it still, still moves, it still so moves like, like around it. everywhere. So it's pretty good. I mean, yeah, it was. It's nice. Anyways. Ah, guy. Oh my God. Why does he look like as good in real life as he does he in his good. photos? So, I mean, Rookie. I was like, oh, Rookie can see so Rookie. Sweet. But I was looking at Kai when. Oh my okay, god, Kai later, like, exactly like, like <laughs> when she plays um, their concert videos. He looks on exactly TV. I'm like, the same. Oh my god, that's the same person. That's the same guy. It's exactly the music same. videos. Has he even aged? No. He doesn't even age. <laughs> Anyways, we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Anyways, um, so the concert ended. They end with um, Tomorrow Never Dies, which was the same ending that they used in the 2016 World Tour. Anyways, so like, um, I didn't cry this time or last time in LA. I thought I was gonna cry. Actually, I, I, was, I felt like more like crying in LA. <laughs> like when they were coming out, and I was like, ah! But then that, that, that ah sound turned into big ah! <laughs> <laughs> like I was shaking, I was quivering, I was like when I was like just so happy to see them after a very long time. So up close and personal because in LA it was my first time being in the super front. Me and Christina, I would just be like, oh my god, 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 can you believe this? We're so close. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> but then from today I got used to it. But it was still like, I just like, it was super surreal. I didn't have my phone because usually in a concert I would always have my phone up to like, record but all like in this gazette um concert where i'm just like just watching and like taking it all in you know and then that's why i was like hitting me it's like oh my god this is surreal this is real life this is not a video this is not a dvd video or like you know some official made it's to be that close anyways 
for me anyways because you know first of all i don't go to that much gazette concerts because location and the second is it's i don't know the times the last time they had a world tour was 2013 so um like uh, there's probably a bunch of things I could talk about, but like I already forgot about them. It's only been a few hours. This is why I'm making this video. Anyway, so after the concert, um, people dispersed and then they actually kept up the Gazette flag on in the backdrop, the Gazette black backdrop. They kept it up for a while. Usually whenever they did like the wheelchair or something, they would like, as soon as people start going away, they would like roll it up. And then they're gonna they're gonna keep it. But then the entire time, like I even had enough time to go to the bathroom to fix up because we were gonna go to our um, VIP uh, meet and greet. I had enough time to go to the bathroom to freshen up to fix up. And then after we went back to like the concert hall, um, we were looking for the, the the back of the line for the meet and greet. And then like apparently it was like a snail. So it came by <laughs> So like the the end of the line was in the middle. So it like swirled out to the outside and then you had to go climb stairs and then meet Gazette somewhere in a room somewhere. So before that, um we go we went to the back of the line and then we realized I don't know what to say to Gazette and I'm like really nervous. Last time when I was LA um, I barely said anything. I just said thank you. So we're like, you know what? My friend was like, let's go get liquid courage. So we got the bomb factory margarita. It's called the bomb margarita. And let me tell you, one of the best and strongest margaritas I have ever tasted in my life. Like, oh my god, I'm like thinking maybe we should have gotten some before the show started. <laughs> <laughs> but oh my god, just like a sip, you can already feel like, whoa. So imagine, I already shared with B a one cup, and it was mostly ice, right? I already started feeling drunk. <laughs> and then we were like, you know what, let's get a second one. Yeah, like tipsy, fine, it's tipsy. You know what, let's get a second one. <laughs> I ended up getting the same um, margarita, bomb margarita, and then because um, Sa wanted to, like another friend of ours, Sa wanted to have another kind of cocktail. She got the Irish mule or something, something like that. And it was like $7 more expensive. But oh my god, it was really strong. Like, it, the margarita was sweeter and better, but it was really strong. So like, by the time when we were like lining up for the, we went back to the line, for the meet and greet, we were like, we were, we were kind of, well not kind of, we were very tipsy. <laughs> like we were bordering on drunk already. <laughs> Cause you know why? We were like super loud. You know when you like make somebody drink, they become like the opposite of what they are. But for some reason with us, we agree our, our attitudes just got amplified. Like, we're already crazy in the first place. We got even crazier. <laughs> so we were just like super loud, even going up to like where the Gazette was. I mean, we're not super loud, but we were just kind of like... More relaxed. We were more relaxed and we were having fun. Even more fun. Like, we're just talking to ourselves. So like, when we got to the meet and greet area, we were like, shh, shh, to ourselves, like, hush, hush. Focus. To like focus, 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 you need to talk to them. Get it to <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Does the drink help you? I don't know. I think I was a little. I was. Because, like, the, my first meet and greet, I was not nervous at all. And then I, when Kai did his thing on me, then I started getting nervous. So, yes, I started getting nervous. So, yes, it did help. It did help. Like, okay, focus. Tell me, like, for me, mm -hmm. should I say that I always said my name? Huh. It's B. I'm B. I'm B. B. <laughs> I so, always yeah, forget. I always like name. say your name. Say your name. Say your name. And I was more relaxed, so that helps. Usually it makes me sleepy, which. But then with all that emotions of like <laughs> I'm about to meet freaking superstars, it, was, it made me more relaxed. Yeah. I shouldn't have been nervous. But yeah. 
it was so funny because we were the last two in our group because um sa curry or curry and sa and then like and then jen and then me and then b so curry and sa were, like had to go first and then we were cut off by the uh, staff and then later it was jen and then me and then like she was way more confident like i was just right next to her she's talking to a boy and then like in the first place she was already very confident oh. jen oh. talking to with him last time she was like i mean in the lead, she was like i'm sorry jen i'm gonna tell them anyways she, when she walked sure? to aloy she was like yeah hey aloy do you remember me and he was like oh no and then oh no sorry you don't and then she was like well you will in dallas <laughs> And then she walked off. That's how that's how confident she is. But like <laughs> that's what she said in LA. Yeah, that's what she said in LA. Hey, do you what? remember me? I don't know, but it's true though. Like he's gonna see her again in Dallas. Oh. Anyways, so this time in LA she said like something in the lines of this not like direct oh like thank you and um well that's very basic but she expressed her love for him because he's obviously her favorite and <laughs> stuff like that she was able to say more things from her i think heart, everyone I was able to say more things actually yeah so. from everybody was able to say a lot more things because even sa and uh, what's it called sure. curry they weren't able to say anything except thank you and that was me too in l.a so we're like liquid courage, liquid courage. Oh my God, it actually worked. By the time I got on what I said, oh thank you, um, you did really great today, and um, I'm, I hope to see you soon. You know, like along that lines with everybody. But like of course there was a variation. Um, I got. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what happened, but as I was leaving Aoi, he was like, it started from Aoi all the way to Uruha. <laughs> He stopped me and asking me a question but in, Jap in Japanese. The but entire was, time I was talking to him in English. But then she responded in Japanese. So I was like, automatically my brain was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, I proceeded to talk in Japanese. And I was like, I even surprised myself because, dude, I've, I haven't used Japanese in one year. Like the last time I took a Japanese class was one year ago. And last time I went to Japan was last summer. So it's been this long, you know? It's already almost gonna be summer 2019. Last time I used it was summer 2018. <laughs> so like it kind of just surprised me. Like I had enough balls to like respond to Aoi in Japanese. So funny. I am, I'm just wondering, did he forget that I was speaking English or like it was just an accident that he said in Japanese? Anyways, I remember like Reita was watching us because he was already done with um, Jen. So I guess Rita heard that, that I can speak Japanese. Yeah! Anyways, so I said oh my, my piece to Rita. What did I tell him? I didn't, last time I did, I was just like, I was just like this with him. I couldn't say anything. Like I was so like mesmerized by Rita's face in the 2016 tour and the, just the previous LA 2019 tour. Like I couldn't say anything. Like I couldn't say anything at all in LA but today I was actually supposed to, like I mean you know I was actually just able to say like oh thank you I'm really looking forward to see you I always think you're really hot today <laughs> like you're so good looking and so cool you know that's like the basics I mean I didn't have enough like confidence to say that just the basics before you know I was just like super basic and uh, rookie I told him I liked him like ski. Daisuke da. Anyways. And then Ray Kai. I know like I spoke English to everybody except Aoi who responded to me in Japanese and then I replied to him in Japanese. So I'm not sure if Aruha understood me when I said um like your hair. Your hair is usually so thick. So I'm surprised today like it's so flat but it still looks really good on you <laughs> and then okay let's go back to Kai I'm sorry Kai for always skipping you but it's the usual it's about a smile I said like oh thank you I hope to see you I think it's the basics 
thank you. I hope to see you in a I mean, again soon. And um, what's it called? I usually don't see you at all on the stage, and so I'm sad about that. But your smile makes up for it. <laughs> so I think like every single one of I. What did you tell Kai? I didn't even say he was hands on. I don't even think. You didn't was. shake his hand. No, I, I shook his hand. Oh my but god. I, I think I forgot to say his hands. But I said, "Remember me from San Francisco, 2016? I still love you." <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to say, "Oh my god, you're so handsome." Oh my god. Basically, what Kai did to her in 2016, she said her name, and then and then coolly said, "I love you." No, did and he say that you're his handsome or so cute? Yeah. yeah. And then he touched me, and he I freaked out. <laughs> yeah. That's what I he rubbed out. her shoulder. And, yeah. And he was then, like, uh, like, like, <sighs> and then so she like. She froze. I, lo I lost it. She lost it. And now that's how backed off. That's how she became a super big. No, that's how I, I lost all my cool and now I can't get it back. Anyways, so this time it wasn't as awesome, was it? It was alright. It was good, yeah. It's just nice Anyways. to see him up close. Yeah, so okay. so beautiful, oh my god. Even yeah. with that makeup on, you can really tell he's really good looking in real life. Mm. You know? Oh. Uruha! He is so charismatic. He's so sexy. He's so so freaking! I don't know if I even told him how? he was sexy. I didn't tell him that, but I talked about his hair. I said, "You have nice hair," and then he says, "You too," and I'm like, "Me? Thank you." <laughs> I'm like, "It's not about me. It's about you." <laughs> and then I, I didn't say that, and I forgot to say you sexy. Oh. So like, it was super <clears throat> fun because like after that. <clears throat> <clears throat> So it was like super fun because after that, like, um, right after we did our meet and greet, there was stairs going back down to like, cause we were on the second floor. So that we were on the stairs to go down before we got there. We got the towel again. We got the same towel from the VIP in LA. In LA. Same thing. So I have two. I have two now. Uh, last 2016, the VIP gift was a t-shirt. I wish we got t-shirts this time. So now I have two towels. Anyways, so like, as soon as we got downstairs, we were still pretty tipsy. I mean, like we were pretty out of it. We're like hobbling downstairs because like we don't want to trip. And as soon as we got there, we're like, ah! We're like, oh, we did a group hug, group huddle, because we we're like so happy. Like we finally said something else other than, thank, thank you. you, goodbye. Goodbye, yeah. thank you. Anyways, I was so happy. And then after that, like when we like we started telling each other our experiences, and then we went to the exit, and um, because Kai did his, I like, posted up another picture of him wearing the Bomb Factory outfits, a hoodie. This this one right here. Um, he they like right next to the merch. <laughs> we bought Bomb Factory. <clears throat> we bought shirt. the shirt. Yeah, we bought the shirt. Oh, I forgot to talk about goods. So, okay, as soon as we got into the venue, since we were one of the first people to get in, I was like telling B, B, go so get I was like, should I go? Should I go? Should I yeah, go? Yeah, I said, you should go. And then I ran. <laughs> she ran <laughs> to she get ran the merch. Um, tell me about it, yeah. I'm back to the entrance. And then I was basically like, groups already three people being served, so I was like the next person in line. And then I'd go in and I was taking my time actually. Because <laughs> so I'm like, um, no, I, actually, I didn't take my time in the beginning. So I asked for her size for, well, basically, go to my channel because that's where. Yeah, the stuff we is. talk about it anyways, like in her channel. And then, then, anyway, so after that, when I got everything I needed, I was like, mmm, taking pictures, taking pictures. And then apparently, Jen said she heard people in the line say, she's gonna buy everything. <laughs> I don't have that money, <laughs> but if anyone wants to sponsor me, please do. Please, please do. do. Um, so check out my channel, um, youtube.com slash be cute. I, I show you guys what, I show y'all what I picked up. <laughs> yeah, check out her channel. I'm linking it on this card right here. Or down here. Or yeah. down. So right. like, okay. We done for tonight? Yeah. I I, I'm tired. Time to sleep. It's already three. She didn't do all the talking, but yeah. So basically, let me end this properly. After we did our meet and greet and we got our, we had lunch. Our lunch. 
dinner. We had our dinner, but it was technically our lunch because we didn't eat the whole day. And then Let's something see. good happened. And I'll leave it there. And I'll see you next time with an, a vlog. A vlog. I took a vlog. I made a vlog. I actually met a bunch of people who told me that they watch my vlogs. And I'm so surprised because I haven't made Gazette vlogs in a while. Which is motivating me to make more vlogs. I apologize for her if she didn't already make friends with y'all. I'm like, be nice, Gabby. Be nice. I am nice. Yeah, she's nice. But I don't know. She... I don't know who watches me. <laughs> I mean, Did you ask their names? Yes. Actually, one of them is Karen and she's from Montreal, Canada. Oh, and she was, her? yeah. That was her? Yeah, 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 yeah. And she was like, Are you gonna vlog about today? I was like, Yes, yes, I Yes! <laughs> now I will. <laughs> oh, don't get lazy, I'm not gonna get lazy. Okay, this is Karen. The next vlog is dedicated Shout to out. you. Shout out to you. Because <laughs> she was right next to her in the front. Yeah, like she was like, she was in front of me in the line, and then I ended up right in front of her, right in front of her, right, right next right. to her. We're both facing Rookie. <laughs> I was like, we, I made so much friends this concert. I'm so happy. Yeah, Anyways, okay. We have to sleep now. Take a shower. Take off my face. Enjoy life. Okay. I'm so tired. Okay. Yeah. Time to go. Bye.